Undeterred by these ridiculous looking dummy CCTV cameras, I went in search of the motor room. The other side of the door is a ladder welcoming Mr. Matt and Mr. Che channel into an original 1970s motor room. But I was defeated by the code lock on the door. So what do you think the code is? Well a year or so later I'm back with a plan and a screwdriver. On my previous visit with all the excitement of seeing the ladder up to the motor room I cannot believe that I forgot to look on the back of that label inside the red box, especially as it was open. I'm not making the same mistake again, so this time I have come with a very thin screwdriver, as you do not need to break the glass on that box to get inside. However, before I carefully open the box, I was an alarm engineer many years ago and people chose the same old codes. 1066 for the Battle of Hastings was a popular one, 2468, 19 something for their date of birth. So all you have to do is look for the worn down numbers or fingerprints. Oh, I can see 1459. So it's either 1945 or 1954 then. And sometimes I'm surprised when people choose a code that's so ridiculous that the code lot may as well not be there. Bingo! Ah, now I hate water tanks, but I'm not actually too bothered as these are covered and not making any noise, which is more that can be said of my attempt to climb this ladder quietly. Besides, there is a classic Schindler machine just beyond these water tanks, which is my main focus. I'm like a bumblebee flying towards a massive sunflower full of pollen. I'm like a stallion on heat parading towards a mare that's flirting by, um, yeah, well, perhaps not. When a button is pushed in the lift car, it latches a relay. You can manipulate the call buttons by manually pressing some of the relays here in this cabinet. Which ones? Well that comes with experience. I consider myself to be very experienced with relay circuits as I've been working with relays since I was about 10 years old. Well, not continuously as I'll probably be a bit sick of them, but you know what I mean. I also know what I can and what I cannot touch in this cabinet. 
so please don't copy what I'm doing. Touching the wrong thing in here might be the last thing you ever do. And even worse, it could destroy the controller of this beautiful lift uh, and annoy some residents and stuff. Ah, safety briefing over. Let's press it. <laughs>
I'm actually quite a big fan of this Schindler floor selector wheel. In fact, I like it so much that I've spent some time explaining how it works. There are three main parts, and in my next video, I'm going to show you what each part does, and even how the up-down logic works. And there are also some other parts of this motor room to look at, including some relay action and the cabinet in detail. How can you not come back and watch part two, as there's more stuff I need to show you.